Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 I want to welcome everyone here today. It's amazing to see all y'all here to push for an increase in cash assistance. Woo! My name is Maria Teresa Wallace. I am a member of Safety Net Activist. Woo! Woo! I'm a recipient of cash assistance myself. Let's take a minute to shout out all the incredible groups we have represented here. Number one, safety net activists at the Urban Justice Center. <laughs> and if I need help, I'm going to contact Legal Aid Society. <laughs> <laughs> and if I really want to stay upstate, it's Empire Justice Center. <laughs> If I have any issues with cash, I can call FPWA. Yeah. And if I need to see the doctor, I have to go to Housing Works. Yeah. <laughs> and if I'm really frustrated and I have to know my rights for sh for shelter, I could go to Volco New York. Yeah. And if I need some more legal assistance, it's NYLAG. Yeah. Today. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? And all of the other groups that came out to support today. Woo! Yes! Okay, so we are here because we need increased cash assistance this year as part of New York State budget. Yes. Yes! yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Things are getting expensive and the grants haven't increased in so many years. Even inflation, cost of living, prices have increased. I can't even go, I can't afford to go to the hot 97 summer gym. No. <laughs> I went there. The cash grant for most people has not increased since 2011. That's so good. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's what we got legal aid. <laughs> and for people in the shelter, that really sucks. That's not nice. The cash grant has increased since, oh shit, 1997. Wow. Right, right, right. Oh, Those days, Giuliani time. Okay, I, so I want to talk about myself. I currently get cash assistance for myself and my daughter. I only get $145.50 twice a month. It's impossible to meet all the expenses every month on that amount. Between phone bills, internet, metro cards, personal hygiene clothes, especially school supplies, laundry, cleaning products, shoes, the grant just isn't enough. I can't even get some vans. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> even a hot sandwich or a cup of coffee like Dunkin' Donuts needs to be purchased with cash since food stamps don't allow people to purchase hot food. The insulted law amounts impact my life and other people's lives every day. I have the fair fares card, but sometimes I don't have the funds to put it on the Metro card. Many parents have kids. Like I said, many parents have kids that's going to school and don't have money to buy their kids even the most basic things, including school supplies. That sucks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The amounts that the public system provide are degrading and salty. You can't move forward because you don't have enough to provide for yourself and your family. Mm -hmm. This doesn't just affect me, it affects more than 600,000 people who receive cash assistance across New York City. It could be more, which is true. That's why we're calling for Bill A5500 and Bill S5270 to be passed as part of the year's state budget. This bill would increase cash to reflect the increased cost of living and also index it to the inflation going forward. I hate that word. Inflation. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, and, while, and while cash assistance amounts are, are already low, the amounts for people in the shelter are even lower. Mm. $45 a month. Thank you. Thank you, 
A single adult in many shelters get only $22.50 twice a month. That ain't right. $22. No, I get $20.30. Thank you, thank you. Think about it. Just $45 to cover all your expenses for the whole entire month. The, that comes out to $1.50. $1.50 a day. Not even enough to buy a metro car or a cup of coffee. Coffee costs more than $1.50. That's why we are also here to support Bill A5507 and Bill S86655, which will ensure that homeless New Yorkers receive the same cash assistance benefits as those that are housed. Before we get started, actually, before we get started, I would like you all to do this chant. What do we want? Increase cash assistance. When do we need it? Now. So, I'm saying it again. What do we want? Yeah. Yeah. When do we need it? Yeah. What do we want? Yeah. Yeah. What do we need it? Yeah. Now! Yeah. Oh, no. uh, did that work? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you all, and I'm going to pass it over to my friend, Susan, for the Legal Aid Society, who will introduce our first speaker. Thank you. Thank you. the chair of the Social Services Committee, Maritza Davila, assembly Woo! member Maritza Davila, who couldn't be a better champion for uh, our cause. Um, as someone who has lived experience and political experience and everything we need in a leader. So we're really happy you're here. Assembly member Davila, we'd like you to take the stage. Davila, and I do share many of your experiences. Uh, before I became an assembly woman, I definitely uh, am a mother of three. They're all adults now. Um, I lived off of cash assistance. I lived off of food stamps. And I have to tell you, not much has changed. My oldest daughter is 46 years old. Not much has changed. I just feel that we need to start understanding that the more we keep people in poverty, the less we're going to get back from those people that have so much potential. Yes. People need to live. That's yes. all we're asking for. Yes. Crumbs <laughs> out of a huge budget, $250 million is crumbs to billions of dollars that we're trying to pass. But yet, we complain about how many people are stealing in the supermarket. How many people are stealing toiletries? I don't condone it. Let's get that clear. But the truth of the matter is that when you have children, you will do anything. What will we do? Anything. To make sure that your children eat. We're going to make sure of that. Mama Bear will make sure of that. Is it necessary? No. No. Stealing is not necessary. Stealing is not necessary. I'm just saying that the economy progressively is getting worse. Right? Merchants are complaining. Supermarkets, the prices have doubled. The amount of food stamps that people get on a monthly basis will last a family of three for two weeks. I go to the supermarket, I get a little bag, a hundred dollars, and it doesn't even last a week, because my husband eats a lot. <laughs> but, I just have to say that not only am I a champion for this, we have several elected officials that are here to support 
and we will fight relentlessly. We will continue to make sure that our speaker um, can take this under consideration because it's time. It's time. Pampers, milk. We have we have a whole slew of issues that is unfortunate. I see this as modern again slavery. Why? Because people need jobs, and they need jobs off of the back backs of black and brown people. Yes. That's all it is. But is it fair to keep people in a place where they can't even rise up? I have another bill called the Fiscal Cliff Bill, um, and that bill also analyzes how to be able to monitor or give suggestions to the governor as to how much you really need, right? Not what you're proposing, what you really need to be able to live whether that is um, city thefts or any voucher to help you pay rent. Let's talk about rent. Oh, yeah. How on God's earth are you gonna be able to pay rent in New York City unless you have a voucher with $145 every two weeks? I know they send an, I think like a $200 thing. No landlord is accepting $200. Actually, if you ask a landlord, what are we, what, what are you accepting? Or do you want this voucher? They'll automatically say no. Even if it's against the law. This is the society we are creating right now. So I could go on to tomorrow talking to you, but I gotta get back in there and I have to make some calls and I have to make sure that everybody knows that you are human beings. You are human. Your children deserve better. And the mere fact that you are here fighting for this cause, kudos to all of you. So what do we want? Increase the tax to ensure that New Yorkers on cash can meet their basic needs. So the next person I'm going to introduce, I just met him today, Anthony from Housing Works. Anthony! So my name is Anthony Feliciano. I am the Vice President for the Advocacy Department at Housing Works. Let me tell you a personal story. I grew up on public assistance and cash assistance. Without it, it was a tool that helped my family relieve the stress to be able to go through and be successful in some way. While there were many other things that helped, that was very important to my family. Now I'm at Housing Works, and I know very clearly, and the folks here, our staff and our clients, feel it and know it very well, how important cash assistance is. We have a program called HASA that force people throughout the city the ability to get assistance, increases, rental. We have a special enhanced on transportation and nutrition. We don't have that with the rest of public benefits and cash assistance, and that's why we're here. We're here because we know how important cash assistance has been to ending the epidemic around our fight against yeah. HIV and AIDS. But this is not just about people living with HIV and AIDS. This is across people who are poor and low income in our communities who deserve increasing cash assistance. We should not be waiting this long to support our folks and our communities. We knew very clearly from this pandemic that economic security hurt and damaged our communities, and it continues to do. And so now that we're so called out of the pandemic does not mean things have changed. These hardships can be addressed by these bills. These packages of bills will do so much. And that's what we need to do here. That is why we're here. We're here because we clearly understand and we've been impacted by it, negatively or positively. And that's why we're here supporting our elected officials to get this through. And this is why our clients are here and our staff. Thank you. Okay. Next, we're going to hear from our oldest 
ally because she actually introduced the bills. That's what I mean, that she introduced the bills. <laughs> yes. Assemblymember Linda Rosenthal. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. So it's longest service. Longest service. <laughs> <laughs> I represent Upper West Side, Parts of Kelsey.